okay so as you can see uh, this is a project this is a autonomous fire fighting robot so this is a smart autonomous fire fighting robot so in this project we are going to use uh, three ir sensor this is my ir sensor 1 ir sensor 2 ir sensor 3 these three are the fire sensor and uh, this is a, absolutely this is a autonomous uh, fighting robot so here you can see these are uh, i am going to use three ultrasonic sensor to detect the obstacle one for the left obstacle one for the right obstacle and another one for the front obstacle so to remove the fire we are going to use a fan as a simulator of fire extinguisher so when the fan blows on then the fire will be off so here you can see i am going to use a adreno uno r3 board so in this board we are going to use adreno 328 microprocessor so in this board we are having a digital port as well as the analog port the fire sensor are connected to the analog port like a1 a2 a3 and to generate a echo pulse through this ultrasonic sensor i am going to connect this ultrasonic sensor trigger pulse to the port number a0 so that a uh, echo uh, so that the trigger pulse of ultrasound of 40 kilohertz is going to generate simultaneously from all the three sensors now the echo pulse from this sensors is going to read by a digital port of this adreno board while the analog output of these uh, three sensors uh, these three fire sensor are going to connect it through uh, analog port of this uh, microcontroller so here the functioning is very very simple there are basically two mode of operation one is obstacle obstacle mode and the another one is fire mode so we are going to set a fire up to a distance and similarly obstacle up to a distance so when it's going to find a obstacle within a distance of 6 inches then it will move according to the program so like an example if it will find a obstacle at the front side so it will move towards the left and if it find a obstacle to the right then it will move towards the left and right and so on similarly for the fire sensor the program is such that that whenever it is going to detect a fire by the distance of near 3 meter uh, a robot will move towards the fire and move forward up to a distance of uh, of like 12 cm and it will stop and and extinguish the fire so this is all based on a analog reading of this sensor so here is my analog, here is my program so you can see this is a program on uh, adreno so this is a program basic program so here we are going to use a stepper motor and we are going to uh, have some function regarding check fire 1 check fire 2 and check fire 3 so with these function we are going to check a fire and for a distance measurement or for the obstacle measurement we are going to have a check distance 1 2 and 3 function now this is a function by which we can calculate a distance by which my sensor can Uh, my ultrasonic sensor can detect a obstacle so this distance is set to 15 cm meter this is around 6 inches so this is a main fire sensor loop so here these are the movement of my uh, these are the movement accordingly if it found a blockage then it will move accordingly and this is the uh, base project so this is a well uh, fine working project so with this help of this project we can uh, extinguish a fire this is a basic prototype so in this uh, project i am going to use a stepper motor so this is a bipolar stepper motor uh, this is a voltage stepper motor and uh, it is having a 48 step per revolution and this is basically four pole motor so uh, that's all so now we are going to show you the working so this is a fire simulator i am going to use a candle over there and uh, this is my power supply connection because the load of a battery is so much so my project is not going to lift it up so i am going to connect it through a power supply so here we are going to use it so now it is moving forward because there is no obstacle and now it is going to search the obstacle and move towards the accordingly now this is a fire mode now when it is going to search a fire it will move towards the fire you can see it is moving towards the fire and searching a maximum value when it find the it will blow the buzzer will flow and fire will extinguish
and it will move forward. So again we are going to demonstrate the working of this project. So here I am going to switch it on. So this is uh, power supply. Start. So here we are going to demonstrate a working of this project. So here I am going to start the power supply. So there is obstacle detection. So I am going to show you how it detects the obstacle. So here it is going to detect the obstacle from left side. Similarly, if there is obstacle at right side, it will move accordingly. So here this is a fire tracking mode. It is now going to track the fire and blow it off. Now the fan is working and it is going to blow the fire. Thank you.